Okay, greetings everyone, this is First of 73 with the next episode of Oceanic Trans Ocean The Shipping Company. And uh, some good news on the channel. I think if you're just watching this uh, on YouTube and uh, not paying attention to the other uh, series that I usually post, but um, updates on uh, what was going on with uh, the copyright infringements that I was getting with uh, Geopolitical Simulator 4, they have been resolved, and uh, those are monetized again, so I'm going to be posting more of those. Unfortunately, uh, apparently... Geopolitical Simulator 4 is not supported by Twitch as of right now, so I guess I'm not going to be uh, posting Twitch, Geopolitical Simulator 4 on Twitch, so we're going to just stick with uh, Transoceanic Shipping on Twitch, and I'm not sure, uh, I'm getting hit with copyrights on Transoceanic Shipping for uh, for this game, so uh, where am I right now, oh there I am, um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to actually... Um, be posting too many more of these on YouTube because I'm worried that everything is getting hit with a copyright. Um, this might just be a sole Twitch series, but I'm not sure about that yet, so, you know, feel free to uh, continue to follow along on both, but uh, if you are a YouTube viewer you might want to, and you're a fan of the series, you might want to consider um, following me on Twitch uh, in order to uh, continue following this series if there aren't any more uh, posted on YouTube after this episode, just FYI out there. So, um, I think the next move is to increase our fleet to size 2. Uh, let's take a look, look at these contracts real quick. We have from the first Centaurian, uh, docked in Turkey, we have a uh, 24-day route to Hamburg, pars posting parcels. Wow, that's a good amount of money. And then agricultural products to Rotterdam. So I guess we'll go to Rotterdam first. That is a number that I'm not too... I don't, I'm not really a big fan of that number, to be honest with you. Wow, I don't like these contracts at all. What was I thinking? <laughs> this is a disaster. I don't think I'm going to be able to fulfill these contracts. I guess penalties aren't too big of a deal, from what I remember. But let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go to Hamburg. And let's see what type of ships we can buy. Because I think it's time to go ahead and advance here. Increase the size of the fleet to uh, two. So we're going to go ahead and buy this gas guzzler. Oh, I'm going to actually I have to take out a loan, right? I completely forgot what I did last night. Um, was it last night? I think, yeah, it was last night. I was playing this game. Oh, boy. Look at the monthly payouts. Fuel costs, other expenses. That's the uh, the money we had to pay to that lady, to our investor. That's hurting us there. Uh, pretty good month, and really good month in June. That looks like our best month so far. Yeah, definitely the best month was in June. Okay, let's take out a loan here. What did we say last episode? All right. So 7.2 million for the loan. Select a rate. Monthly payment of 627. I think this was the rate that I chose last time. This looks like the best value for the buck. 24 months. I'm gonna go take out this line. Cha-ching! And now it's time to go ahead and buy that gas guzzler ship up here in Hamburg. Bye. Do you really want to buy this ship? It is anchored in the following wharf, Hamburg. Yes. And we are going to call this uh, second Centaurian. I'm probably going to sell this ship as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and christen it. Okay, you will earn more respect if you fill company contracts. With the company contract, you enter into a time-limited agreement with a company to ship their freight to and from between two fixed ports. This means long-term contracts for you. 
Uh, the trick here is to find lucrative additional contracts with companies so that you can still make a profit on all the journeys. However, shipments for the contract the company should always take priority. Otherwise, uh, you will incur contractual penalty and your rep reputation will sink drastically. One company sh contract should be enough to start with. Uh, you can see the company contracts in the menu to write, blah 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 blah. At the same time, you should keep a close eye on your capital. You are only liquid when you have 10,000 in your account. The next rank is within your grasp. So I need to get 10,000 in my account to be liquid, I guess? Alright, so bring bank account up to 10,000. Lastly, you have to increase your liquidity. Bring your bank account up to 10,000 in order to achieve the next rank. Oh, okay, so liquidity is important for the next rank. Um, deadline contract company contracts and other shit. Uh, then it's over to you. If I get the next rank, then it's over to me for deadline contracts, company contracts, and another ship. We have to reach the rank of cosigner. Consigner. Let's check out ranks here. Capital, but I need my cash to be up to 10,000. Oh, that's how much more I need in cash. Okay. Getting it, getting it here. One company contract and that much more in cash. Okay, let's check out the company contracts. These look cool. I haven't really got involved in these a lot yet. Five month contract from St. Petersburg to Valencia. Ooh, look at this one. I like this one. Dublin to Hamburg. That's good for the gas guzzler, I think. I think that's really good for the gas guzzler. This is all veterinary, vegetarian incorporated. All right, their target revenue is 29, uh, 2910 TUEs from Dublin to Hamburg. Contractual value is 1.4 million. Uh, five months. And then there's a contractual penalty. These goods have been shipped from the country of production to our satellite station in Hamburg. Therefore, we are seeking a reliable partner who can transfer the corresponding value of goods. Deliver the required commodities within the contractual time from port of origin to destination port. You will receive contract value in addition to the freight delivery price. Freight delivery price. I don't know where that is. I'm going to go ahead and accept this contract. I am a fan. Are you sure you want to accept this contract? Yes. Alright, because it's not a big distance from Dublin to Hamburg. New contracts available. Now let's see if there's anything going to Dublin. Yes, there is. Furniture. Beautiful. 500,000. There's also Reykjavik, too. What's the range? 81 days max range. We want to move a little quicker, right? 34 days. Eighteen days, eight days to Reykjavik. Six days to Reykjavik. I'm not gonna do the Reykjavik move. I am just going to move slowly to Dublin with uh, 1,500 TEUs of furniture. We can carry a 480. I might as well grab the Rotterdam one as well. We can pull into port there. And I'm definitely going to have to park the gas guzzler so I don't lose anything. But that's what they said. Require extra contracts along the route in order to make more profits. Alright. Cast this ship off. 
to Rotterdam. Manual cast off. And that'll be good to go. And then we're going to have to cast out of uh, Turkey. I forgot where I'm going with Turkey. Wasn't looking too good with the Turkey uh, contracts there. But I should probably hit send that feeder up north towards Dublin to help support this company contract. Alright, so this is a gas guzzler. It is another feeder. Um, we're just going to pull out here. Cast off. Not pull out. Stuff's in the ground. Um... Take an angle. All the way down. It's our best time. 4.42 to get out of this one. Yeah, this one's tougher. I should have probably made a wider right turn before I embarked over there. There's a lot of ships. There's a couple ships around here. That's a big freighter. Look, you're going a little too close to the side there. Alright, back it up. Make a left turn. Okay, full speed ahead here. Two minutes and fifteen seconds coming out of this port. Slow that down a second. Start making their turn. Here we go. Coming around here. Looks like a good turn. Two fifty three. A little wider there. Okay, coming around here. And we are almost on a direct path. Let's up the throttle. I think I am at a straightaway path now. Full throttle. Slightly to the right. This is the second Centurion. Our new ship, look at that, second Centurion. Pretty cool, steaming away there. Pulling right out of Hamburg. Still got some space, I guess, a lot of space here. We didn't get enough for the contract. Uh, looks like we got a record though coming up here. Here a little bit to the left, make sure you don't miss that uh, cast off area there. And I think we're out of here. Very good. New best time. Excellent job. Okay. Due to your rep, oh, we got some messages here. Due to your reputation, Harbor Masters will now be charging reduced docking fees. Very good, bank account. Fill one company contract, become a tycoon. 
Okay, we got a lot of objectives here. Oh, 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 what am I doing? I thought it was going to wait for me to uh, cast out of here. And we are running out of time. Oh, no. Alright, I better cast off. Rotterdam, not enough fuel. I'm never going to make that contract, am I? Let's go to this one. Cast off. We're not going to make that contract in time. I thought they would at least wait after I cast it off out of uh, Hamburg. Did not wait at all. Ah, oh, this one, huh? Back up. I'm gonna back up right away. Just gonna back straight up. Pulled out of here before. There's a ship on the way there. We just gotta beat that ship. This is a direct reverse. I did not see that ship. Oh wait, there it is. That's pretty big. But we're going five knots, full reverse. Best time is 150. Oh my god, this thing is coming right at us. Uh. Wow. All right, now they're backing up. Look like they were gonna hit us. But they backed off. I've not seen a collision yet in this yet in this game, which is definitely something <laughs> would be interesting to do, but not yet. I want to wait until I got a pretty big fleet. I think we're still going to get best time here. They were steaming pretty quickly. New best time coming out. I guess in the future I can just steam right out of here. Alright, now embarking on all destinations. The second Centurion ready to dock in Rotterdam. I am going to increase speed here. Because we'll be able to full up com fill up completely in uh, Lisbon, and I'm going to try to save some time with uh, full power. Alright, let's we'll see if we get lucky. And it's time to pull into Rotterdam. Back to the world map. Dock. And this one I have to do manually. If I want to save any type of money. Alright, so we have an expanded fleet here, multiple operations, multiple contracts, full speed ahead, no full speed. This is the second Centurion gas guzzler. Rotterdam. Have I ever pulled in? I don't think I've ever pulled into Rotterdam before. Oh, I know this one. This is like a straightaway. Isn't it? Just have to pull really straight in there. Give me a little bit here. Too close. Back it up. 
think I, but I didn't hit that, did I? I almost hit it. Alright. I knew this was a tough one. When I saw, when I pulled out of this one, I knew this was going to be a very tough port. It's a dock. But I think I got the. I think I just made it parallel. Slight notch there. And I think we're looking good. Wow, nice. Nice and comfortable. This smooth move in there. I think we're good. Keep it coming. And there you go. Perfect. Three minutes and 18 seconds. Not bad for a uh, docking. We got the full value of the contract. I still got plenty of fuel. Are there any uh, extra contracts I can pick up? We are on the way. Ooh, five days to Hamburg. No, we're not going to do that. Questionable goods, cartel sisters. No, we're not going to stay. Away. We're going to stay away from those. Furniture on its way to Dublin. Anything else to Dublin at the moment? No. I think I'm just going to cast off. If that's the case, Hamburg. We don't have the time. I need to get to Dublin. And I'd actually like to get there kind of quickly. Three days. That'll be good because I have a limited amount of time, right? There's like five months, I think it was, to get all that stuff. That's a lot of uh, agricultural products out of Dublin, right? Potatoes, I guess. Okay, three days to Dublin. Casting off. We'll get another uh, $500,000 contract. And we still got the first Centurion in the Mediterranean trying to get the Lisbon as quickly as possible to refuel. And hopefully get up to, I think they have to get to Rotterdam uh, without any penalties. Because Rotterdam wasn't that bad. I think it actually uh, caused me to be a little more careful. Um, what am I doing now? How do you get out of this thing? I think I'll make a turn. Crazy turning idea. This can take me forever to get out of this. This strategy. Doing a total 180 around. Probably shouldn't have done it that way. I probably should have backed up, pulled into there, and then gone out. And this seems like it's making a little louder noise. Wow, was that my computer? I think it's time to back up over here. I 
Okay, that's just weird. This is not going well. that cut. I think we're going to make it. Alright. Slow it down a little bit. I think I have to reverse again. Back it up. And reverse. Getting better at that. This is an ugly departure here. Okay, coming around. We can go straight now, I think. Probably gotta bring it around a little bit more. Wow, I got out of here a lot quicker the first time. Okay, let's see what's going on. We'll make up some time here after that turn. We don't need another turn. Okay, I think we're ready to hit the throttle here. Out of Rotterdam. Very good. Alright, casting off. Successful cast off. Reputation has risen. You are now respected. Oh, nice. Oh, pause. Yeah, okay, we're moving. Full speed here. Nine days to get to Lisbon. Gotta get to Rotterdam in 16. Okay, second Centurion is three days out of Dublin with no contract needed there. We're going to pick up agricultural products from Dublin, get them to Hamburg as part of the company contract. And it looks like things are going pretty well. Fuel prices in Europe. We've got, Lisbon's got the cheapest fuel, so it's a good place to for uh, the first one's going to dock on its route to Rotterdam, Dublin prices are below 700, so we can refuel there if need be from the gas guzzler. But they're not traveling a whole lot of distance, so. Here we are, ready to dock. I'm just going to let the tug do this. And we got 539, so that covered our docking fee plus the corresponding fuel price. That's pretty expensive. Um. All right, now we gotta pick up agricultural products to Hamburg. Here it is, Vegetarians Incorporated. We're picking up all those contracts from Vegetarians Incorporated. And what is the company contract at again? What is our current company contract at? It doesn't tell you. 
Oh, there it is. Accept the contracts. Alright, 2900 is the target value. So we gotta pull in a lot more than 2900. Let's see here. I guess, do we get these too in addition? That would be pretty sweet. That's all we could fit, huh? 15 more. I don't know if we could replace anything. There are a lot of more contracts available out there. Let's grab these two. I could use a bigger ship. Okay, so we're going for 2900 or 2190, was it? This is about, what was it, 465. Okay, let's uh, get back to that. 29, 2910, 465. That's close to sixth or seventh of the total. Duration is five months. 147 days remaining. Okay, we're gonna cast off. And we're on our way to Hamburg. Doesn't seem like it's gonna burn too much. Manual cast off. Five days versus five days. That can't be right. I can't cast off for some reason. No routes like that. Oh. oh, there it is. Okay. Six days versus five days. Gas guzzler. We'll save some gas, I guess. For now, because it is a gas guzzler. So there are definitely decisions to be made in this game. And I think this is going to be it for this uh, YouTube episode, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Again, uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch, uh, which will be down in the description. Link will be down in the description to follow me on Twitch, as well as if you'd like to support on Patreon, the link will be there as well. Okay, I got to pocket now, see if I can do it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode.